everyone. Welcome to the Friday Night Huddle, sponsored by Thomas Toyota. Bobby Latmore here with Myron Guyton and Roger Cunningham, and we're here on a little special evening tonight, aren't we, gentlemen? Yeah, but the other invitee is not here He'll yet. be here. He'll be here soon. Bacon you, can pretend, you can pretend I'm him. So. Yeah, you okay. can pretend. Yeah, yeah, right. You guys okay. kind of look alike in a yeah, way. Take, so. it, take it out yeah. on me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at Centennial Field, Baconton is taking on the Seminole County JV program for their final game tonight, and it ought to be a lot of fun, guys. Well, I'm looking forward to it. You know, all year we've done nothing but talk about how good Baconton is. Well, Jesse, yes, yeah, 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 Jesse, yes, Jesse, yes, yes. Let's rephrase yeah, we that. Said that. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's rephrase, let's rephrase that. that. <laughs> Jesse's been all over Baconton. This is Baconton's final game, and of course, we're playing Seminole County, who you are the master of ceremonies for yeah, them over right. there. So it. look at you. You're already dressed out. Look like a coach tonight and everything. I he was a coach. I'm telling you, he walked into my truck. I'm about to say, excuse me, sir. <laughs> well, I'm going to be on their sidelines. Roger tonight, so. and Jesse will be the honorary captains for each team. Roger, of course, for Seminole. Jesse for the bacon strips over there. Bacon, the Blazers. Maybe that's where he's at. But, you know, but, we, but, 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 but we do have to give bacon some props. They've won more games this year. Than they ever have. Than they ever have. But probably more oh. games this year combined than they've won the whole existence of their football program. Well, yeah, plus, you got to so. think, Jesse, I mean, really, he kind of put them on the map for us talking about them. He and really did. About more, you know, you in know. the preseason game, and the preseason show that we did, um, he was, he was, re you know, I like Baconton. Oh, I like the underdog. Right. He, went, he did his I like the too. underdog. Yes, he did. I think these guys going to win some games this year. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh. <laughs> well, he does work with them some with their strength and conditioning a little bit, you know, with some of the players, I think. And, so he's he's he don't give him that many props. You know, he's, he'll be well, there. I think he'll probably, he'll probably have coaches next year. Roger's almost like he's backing down a little bit too. You is know? that what it is? Oh, I'm telling you. Oh. Well, you know, we can only play our players a certain amount of time tonight. Oh. 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 I mean, these yeah, JV guys, if, if, if they play more than two quarters, and they're ineligible to play you know on they Friday say about night. Excuses, right? You know. I know. It. Okay. Yeah, I know. Want to make sure you understand that before we start. Okay. Coin toss is here in a little bit, so we got to get rolling here. So, guys, let's talk a little bit about high school football here happening on Friday night. Tonight is Thursday night, special edition of the Friday Night Huddle here tonight. Colquitt County, and probably the biggest game of their season so far, at Valdosta, in Valdosta for this huge Region 1 6A matchup. Yeah, uh, it is a huge it is a huge game. I mean, you can normally throw out the records, you know, in this game. It's, this is this – is, uh, uh, a huge game for both teams, Colquitt County. You know, they're fighting for first place, you know, in the region. And uh, Colquitt County has looked extremely tough. I haven't seen a whole lot out of Valdosta as far as what they've been doing this year. But uh, uh, Colquitt's yeah, Colquitt. lost to Brooks County. Yeah. But since then, though, they've been, they've been rolling. Well, they lost to Lowndes. That was the Lowndes. That's yeah. classic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they lost to Lowndes. They lost to somebody else here recently, too. They lost to Westover not too long ago, too, a 4A school out of Westover, out of Albany. Wow. So they're 5-3 and three on the season right now. They're 1-2 and two in the region. Colquitt County's looking pretty good at 5-2 and 2-1 and two and one in the region. They're sitting third place right now in Region 1 6A behind Camden County and Lowndes. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens here in the next three weeks is just unbelievable what happens in this Region 1 6A. Colquitt County this week, they have Valdosta. Next week, they're home against Coffee, who is number four in the region, who has the same record as uh, Colquitt County right now, the identical record, 5-2 and two overall and 2-1 and one in the region. Then they host Camden County on the ninth. I think Camden County was a great addition to that region. I mean, I think everybody was a great you know, addition. You know, I mean, the way you know. they did it. Yeah, they, they really. I mean, it's making everybody step up their game. Well, I was going to say, depending on who you are, if, you know, better uh, addition or not. I think you know, it's, it's definitely a lot more competition. Well, it, I think it's the best team in the region. It, I think it, Camden County right now. I think that's the team. You know, it, 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 it kind of reminds you a little bit, you know, of what happened in college when Florida State entered the ACC. They were so dominant, just dominant. Everybody had to raise their game, and they have. And now, you know, it's not just a shoe in that FSU is going to win the ACC yeah. every year, you know. Well, that's true. Things good like something. Good, good comparison right there. That's yeah. very good. You want to know, here, here's some stats. Offensive stats for the year for both of these teams. Colquitt County scoring, okay. They're scoring 29, averaging 29 points a game. They're giving up 15 points a game. Here's Valdosta's. That also scoring 29 points, and they're giving up 15 points a game. Oh, so it's kind of like last week's Lee and Central game. Something's going to have to break. Something's got to break. Yeah. Something's got to break, and tomorrow night we're going to find out over there at uh, Hayes Baysmore Stadium over there in Valdosta, and it's going to be a the place is going to be rocking. I can oh, guarantee sure. it. Oh yeah, I can guarantee it. We'll talk about this. We'll come back and talk about some uh, predictions on this one later on. We'll see what goes. Both teams did lose the Lounge, Colquitt County, in that controversial game. Yeah, <laughs> we'll call it Packer Gate. Yeah, over there, uh, Lounge, uh, Valdosta losing in the Winter's Classic as we mentioned before. So. Both teams have had the bite of the Vikings this year. 
but a lot more football left to be played. So but a lot of teams have had the body of the Vikings this year. Yeah. Two weeks. Is it next week? Yes, next week. Camden County is away at Lowndes. That's the game of the century it right is. there. It is. For it one is. and two, that's correct. For one and two right there. They play next week. Um, and then Camden County's got to come all the way back over here to Colquitt County. After they come to Valdosta, they got to go home, come back to Camden County to play Colquitt on the ninth. Mm-hmm. So, but we did one. We did one. For we did County. one of your all-star games over there at Camden County. It's a long way. It is, but it's a fantastic facility. Oh, there. Oh, I'm talking. It's, it's like a. It's like a college field over. It's like a college stadium. Well, the, the facility is even a weight room. I mean, remember the weight room yes. and everything. I mean, yeah. it's funny because those kids go to college and they don't last in college because they're spoiled. Because <laughs> they go to a small college that don't have those kind of facilities. They're like, what am I doing here? I can go back to high school and do no that. drop off at, at Lowndes now. I mean. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, Lowndes is still. <laughs> yes. I mean, Lowndes is no job shop. Yes, I mean, sir. They have a nice facility over mm-hmm. there. Yes, so. a beautiful facility. All Everybody's got, 6A has got really nice facilities all over. I mean, that's just. You got to have money now. Better football mm-hmm. and everything. Right. You got to so. be able to spend the money to compete. So. No doubt. Guys, let's take a quick break. When we come back, we'll talk about some other high school football games happening tomorrow night, which is Friday, here on the Friday Night Huddle, sponsored by Thomasville Toyota. So we invited kids from all over South Georgia and North Florida to come here to Thomasville Toyota, brought the TV cameras and let them roll. They had a ball. Check this out. Thomasville Toyota, where you drive home happy. Thomasville Toyota, the happy place. Thomasville Toyota, the happy place. Where you drive home happy. Sunbelt Trophy on East Jackson Street is your one-stop shop for all your celebration needs. Now, just for high schools, check out our sister company, DiscountVarsityAwards.com, where you'll find amazing discounts on beautiful full-color awards custom designed for your school. Check us out at DiscountVarsityAwards.com or call 229-228-1187. Only at Sunbelt Trophy in Thomasville. It's a great place for sports training to keep in its shape. Come to Fitness Life for your workout. It's convenient and it's open 24 hours a day. Follow your dreams, find your passion here at Fitness Life. Southwest Georgia Oil Company, located in Bainbridge, Georgia, operates under the trade name Inland. The goal of Inland is to be the largest independent oil company in the tri-state area of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Moving quickly toward that goal, Inland serves the local area in numerous ways through its distributors, Sammy's on the Faithful Highway, the Inland Store on West Chowell Street, and in Donaldsonville on Highway 84, the Self-Service Island on Calhoun Street. All you need is an Inland Fuel Card and the Inland Piggly Wiggly in Cairo. At Inland, we are proud to serve our local communities in Southwest Georgia. For all of your heating and cooling needs, call Ronnie and Jeremy Mills at 443 U.S. Highway 84 East in Cairo, Georgia. 377-2716. Refrigeration, duct cleaning, residential, commercial, or industrial. When you're in need of service and repair and don't know what to do, it's time. American Standard Heating and Cooling Systems. A higher standard of comfort. Mills Heating and Air. Serving Cairo and the surrounding areas for over 30 years. And be sure to ask them about the flat cornbread. At Farm Credit, our roots run deep in this rich Georgia soil. We are the nation's leading provider of credit to farmers and farm businesses. And we know what it takes to grow your business. We've closed more loans on the hood of a pickup truck than some bankers will in a lifetime. We're proud of our history. Prouder still to finance the dreams of farmers, landowners, and agribusinesses. We're Farm Credit. We're here to help you grow. Welcome back, everybody, to the Friday Night Huddle, sponsored by Thomasville Toyota. Bobby Latmore here, along with Myron Guyton, and Roger Cunningham. And, guys, Region 1 5A is coming down to the end here, isn't it? Yeah. Big think. game last week here on the Cool Channel's Lee County, almost coming back to take over Thomas County Central's number one spot. But uh, they didn't quite do it, did they, Roger? They didn't, yeah, Roger. yeah, they didn't. I, I picked Lee County. I, I picked Lee County, and... Uh, uh, ended up being a six-point game. You know, I'm going to tell you something. I saw the game Tuesday night on the Cool Channels, and boy, I'm going to tell you something. You got you a little, you got, I, that fourth quarter hit, when they got, they scored that 
touchdown and go to 35 to 41, mm -hmm. boy, you heard it in your voice. Come on, baby, come on. Yeah. <laughs> but when they kicked it away, it was like you were deflated. What are they doing? Well, we both said that. I mean, we both couldn't understand why they ran the 3-4 defense all night oh, long. That was, and, uh, but, uh, uh, just uh, everything. That's one, of our, that's one of our bite sound bites for the year is that game in the fourth quarter when you said it, was, it got quiet after he kicked it deep. You didn't even want to talk. You're like, I, I know you were you were flipping under your hat. <laughs> like, man, I yeah. know you're, you're from Dallas County Central, but I really want to leave County yeah. win. Like, oh. <laughs> well, I picked them. Uh, you know, I want the teams oh, to win. Oh, I pick. deeper than that. Hey, I can feel for you. I felt bad. I, man, maybe they should have lost. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Lee County should have won, you know. Yeah, me feeling for that 6-0. and oh, You're like, man, they've never been 6-0 and oh before. And I'm thinking, you get a little sentimental on them, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, was, yeah, I was. I was. I was. I was. Well, we'll see. We'll and, see. You know, and, and like any game, a couple of plays made the difference oh, and could oh, have yeah. made the difference they in the all game. All game I mean, all bad they, 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 there, was, there, was, there was two pivotal points in that game I'll cover real quick, okay? The first one was when um, uh, Central kicked a field goal, right. okay? And Lee County was called for roughing the kicker. Right. And which gave him a five-yard penalty and a first down, and Central put it in for a touchdown. Yep. That was huge. The next thing that was huge in that game was when Central turned the ball over. Lee mm -hmm. County got it. The next play... Lee County turned it right back over. Remember, Myron? They turned it right back over. Now, they did stop Central, but it took another three minutes or so off the clock, which made a huge difference in that game coming down to the you end. You sure you want to sit next to him before the game? Or you should be on my side over here. <laughs> he got all those yeah, he, 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 he don't even need a mic. He's ready to go. Look at him. He just pulled up a seat. I'm this ready. He's ready to go. Uh, it's Smackdown time, Mr. Jesse. How you doing? Jesse joining us tonight. So we appreciate Jesse. We got to get him a microphone. I see. You got everything. You show up late. That's what happens, man. Jesse, good timing. You're here. We're talking about that game last week, close Lee game. County. It was like Lee County Central. Roger was crying up there in the box. Yeah. <laughs> you guys were getting in trouble, too, because you're talking, was... you guys standing on Lee County sideline and talking yay for oh, Central, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I heard about oh, that. Yeah. Chris was. They Chris was right. like, I said, Chris, you can't be excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll go get us ran from over here. And something will happen. Chris was like, oh, I said, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun last week, wasn't yeah, it? Was. Good game. It was, it was scary, though, because Central, Ooh, Lee County got a squad. They got a great team. And I think what they went wrong is because every time they passed, Central could not stop them on the pass. Mm -hmm. In the last series, they decided to run here and run there and ran out of time. But mm -hmm. when they decided to put it in the air, Central had no answer for it. Well, but, I think, too, you know, I'll go ahead, Mark. I'm sorry. I was going to say, they just got to get the ball back. The defense just got to give the offense the, the, the ball. You can see when they gave them the ball, they did something with it. But Central, you know, it's just hard to stop the and offense. They create a turnover. It just still know? can't understand why they stayed in that 3-4 oh, defense. I, I have, no, that was game. another thing, too. Yeah. Mark was talking about that. The, the whole the game is just show, ridiculous. The 3-4 defense was really just kind of boggling everybody. Yeah. Hey, Central tried it at first. But you see, after uh, Lee County went down and took it down on their first series, they came out of it because it, these boys was just... They did what, Jesse? Nothing. They made an adjustment? Right. They okay, adjustment. Lee County never made that adjustment never the adjusted. whole game. They never adjusted. I didn't understand it. Central traveling north tomorrow night, taking on Hardaway, 2-5 and five in the region, 0-2. Oh Shouldn't be too much of a problem for Central. No. Central 7-1, and 3-0, and oh, first place in the region. Hardaway's last in sixth place. Um, just... You know, it shouldn't be too much of a deal for Central to go up there. The only issue would be traveling. They may right. slow, slow. Right, because they start off slow. Yeah, they probably yeah. just beat them 50 to nothing. But. but if you see Choice, he runs even when he ain't got a shoe on. Sure. You yep. know, so <laughs> you ain't got to worry about but him. I would love to be in the shoes of the Central coaches. You can have a player like Cooks to go down, go to your bench and pull out a Tim Brown. Yeah, who was he? Yeah. yeah who, not, who was he? Not Tim Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Brown, come on. I mean, we were up in the booth. He's like, is me. this kid related to Tim Brown? He said, well, he'd probably be junior if he was. Well, I, thought I, but, you know. I thought it was a misprint. I was like, you Tim Brown, I was afraid to even say it. <laughs> you know, Tim Brown. But you're right, though, man. They, 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 skip, they didn't miss a beat. You no, know? they well, didn't. you got to give some, some credit to their system. It's almost like the system that Cairo runs. You know, you can place the guy in that system and understand the system that you're trying to run. Well, These who, guys really who, understand that system. Who was the player that went out? I guess it was either against Thomasville or Williams. Cairo. Williams. Yeah, the Williams. Player, and they brought in, what, Coleman? They brought in Coleman. Coleman. He had missed a beat. Nope. And now, and, and like I said, Cooksey went down. They bring in Brand Tim Brown. Tim it's Brown. like, you know, where's this Heisman Trophy winner come from? <laughs> You know, exactly. they got depth. They you got know, depth, which is absolutely, good. which is very good. What you need for a championship run, because yeah. I'll tell you something: if somebody goes down in these playoffs, don't look like they're going to have too much of an issue now coming down to the end. They got, they got Hardaway, but then they host Harris County in a couple weeks, so that's going to be a good game where they've got it out there. But right now, defensively, even after that Lee County game. 
defensively right now. Thomas County Central is in first place defensively in the region. Wow. So it just shows how many yards the region. Interesting. And it's scores that the region's yep. giving up. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. They're first place in the region of total defense central is. How right far is Bainbridge? So. I would think Bainbridge was giving up less less points. No? Well, no, nah, Bainbridge is leading one category. They're giving up uh, the yardage. They're first and giving up in yardage. Central's real close at second, so that's why they they giving up the less points and giving up everything else. So Bainbridge is right there. They're second in defense, mm -hmm. but uh, they're way off in offense. Cambridge is as far as the region is, yeah. too. So. I just don't think that, for whatever reason, I just don't think their players are just enthused to be playing. We're hearing that, you know, the one guy didn't want to play quarterback. He just didn't want to play it. So they put in, you know, had someone else. And now finally they've got the player in there that they wanted at quarterback all along. And just I just think there's a lot of, Upheaval going on there in that program. We'll get to that. Reason. We'll get to Bainbridge here in a second. But uh, Thomas County Central's off next week after they go to Columbus. Then they host Harris County, who's undefeated right now, tied with Central in the in Region One Five A. But Harris County plays at Lee County tonight, oh. Friday night. Yeah. Friday night. Friday night. Gosh, I keep yeah. thinking it's Friday night. Hello, you think it'll be Friday? We're here on Thursday. But uh, Friday, I mean, they play tomorrow night. Harris County goes to Lee County, Harris so that ought to be win, pretty baby. good. Yeah. Harris County win. Harris mm -hmm. County win sets up a region championship game next week or two weeks in uh, November Central. 9th in Central. That's right. That's so a that'll game. be a great game. So be interested to see how that works. I don't think Central has a deal tonight with Hardaway. We'll see. I oh, know. I think they go. Well, actually, you know, they play on Saturday, too. Do they? I thought the game was Friday. It's a Saturday game. It's sad. It's a Saturday game. Because, Central? Because, yeah, because, because the there's more than one. Like oh, here. the Columbus there's, Stadium. Yeah, there's, more one, there's more than one school Saturday. that plays so there. Ups, yeah. uh, they're, during a Georgia-Florida game? Are they nuts? <laughs> Who came up with that? Well, they figure they're only playing Hardaway, so. Well, they're only George's yeah. only playing Florida. Right, so you know you have, you have a lot of people with radios. You have a lot of people with their little radios in, in the yeah. stands yeah. in that game. Who right? you rooting for? I don't know. It was they don't have a lot of fans. They don't have a lot of. If they don't have fans in Lee County, if you can't take your fans in Lee County, then you that know that was disappointing. Wasn't very disappointing. Very that disappointing. was that was disappointing last I mean, week. To yeah. my undefeated team, and you don't you know you don't pack the house. The Yellow Jackets, and normally they travel with a load. They do, That's but true. they didn't last yeah. Friday. That's a shame. We talked about that in the scoreboard show. A little disappointing there. Bainbridge, like we talked, let's get to Bainbridge. They travel tomorrow up to Northside Columbus. That is tomorrow night's game. I do know that. Uh, Coley Voiles will be going up there to do that for our, our deal. But uh, Bainbridge, 4-3 and three right now. They're 1-2 and two in the region. Fourth place right now sitting in Region 1-5A. Northside's 2-4-1. With the tie. They're hey, o Coach Ingram. They're 0-2. <laughs> Please win tonight. Save me. Yeah, you're going to need all the help you can get. <laughs> are you calling plays tonight? No, you are. That's the deal. <laughs> Jesse's going to let Coach Hughes call the plays, and you're going to call the plays for some Sir? of them. Sir? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Coach Ingram for the Seminole County Indians with his JV team yeah, here tonight. Rogers, he, he Rogers, all the cars, Rogers best friend tonight. That's yeah. it. He called the head coach. He's called the head coach. Hey, we need you he's, got his, he's got a speed uh, dial on his phone, you know? He is. He's, he's, one, he's, he's, one, he's, 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 he's one of my contacts. He comes to all the JV games. Bainbridge, they beat him. very low oh, wow. in the offensive rank stats. They're only averaging 19 points a game. Disappointing. Well, Bainbridge is, offensively. You know, they, I, I, you know, I figured it out. They, they sandbagging and they wait until they get, you know, the region's going to be close. And they say, hey, let's just get through the region. And we get in the playoffs, we're going to just turn it on. Well, they, they got Northside Columbus, hey. who's not doing very well. No. They got beat yeah. hugely by Central, I, both, I, both teams. <clears throat> but Northside really got reamed hey. by Central and they oh, got yeah. killed by Harris County. What, Jesse? I see, hey, they may be sandbagging. Sandbagging. But I do not see them beating Lee County. Yeah, that, oh, yeah. And, and believe it or not. Harris County's going to beat Lee County tomorrow night. And, Hey, believe it or not, tell you, believe the, 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 the Bainbridge Lee County game, it's the last home game for Bainbridge. It's the last game of the season for Bainbridge. It's their homecoming and senior night game. I'm going to tell you All what I told Chris. Package. You guys were there. Or they weren't there Tuesday. It's like I told Chris, it's a great matchup for Bainbridge. Bainbridge's weakness is what? Their offense. What's the weakness of Lee County? Their defense. defense so it's right. going to be a great matchup. The strength of Bainbridge You're is right. their defense. You're right. So I think it's going to be a great matchup. I mean, because you got two teams right. that's going to be evil here back. Be a lot of score. Right. A lot of score. Well, you know, I mean, well, yeah, it but, might uh, not be. They might, might not be. hold them down. Right. And, 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 and you know, Bainbridge, and Bainbridge, and, 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 and Lee County going to give us points. And, 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 oh, yeah. Lee County give us so many points, though. They got a good running back. They got a great quarterback that's pinpoint accurate, man. But they give up some points, though, man. That's their problem. They give up so many points. Look at Bainbridge. Yeah, but can Bainbridge score, though? But look at Bainbridge shut Central down. They shut down the Yellow Jackets. Because that, yeah. that's that. Uh, Shut them down. That's the rivalry that they know. That down. They, they get up from their sleep for that game. Is it's Lee Well, County let's, let's put the scenario together. Harris County beats Lee County. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next, the, the November 9th, Central big. plays Harris County for first place. Okay. Lee County goes down to Bainbridge for third and fourth. 
Right. See, but all Bamers has to do is win one more of their remaining they, games, and they're in they're the playoffs. In, yeah. They're, they're in, in fourth place. So, that's what makes this fun. But tonight's man, good night. So many things could happen. Oh still. yeah. Tonight's oh, a good night for Bamberg. There's, there's three more weeks of football. Anything can happen. Anything can tonight's happen. a very good night for Bamberg. They got Northside Columbus. I don't think that's going to be in tomorrow night. Tomorrow it's going to be. It's going to be. Yeah. It's going to be all right. So Bamberg's got that one opportunity. Got a BCS in place. That's like Chris. That's what Chris is talking about. Well, you think in their in their in their wisdom they could use these bowl games to have a playoff system? It doesn't seem like it's rocket. It's money, 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 baby. Money, that's it. You know. That's all it is. Money. Money, money, money. You yeah. can't give up. Who's going to give up the money? Which one of them? Yeah. No, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm giving up my pie. Hey, I, might pie. Not make the, I might not make the playoffs. I need my bowl money. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. So K-Row know. heading up to America Sumter tomorrow night. K-Row, 5-2, 4-0. America Sumter four and three, two and two, fourth place tied with Worth County right now. So it's a very important game for America Sumter playing at home. Cabo's got to travel up there tomorrow night, but they're four and zero right now, first place in the region. They're rolling right now. Yeah, they got a lot of kids back that are healthy right now, so the defense is still playing hard. And of course, PJ is playing hard. PJ's rolling along. Donald's rolling along. So plus you talked about them bringing. Uh, he'd be able to play a little more offense. Yes, now. because the defensive end for Cabo has come back and giving P.J. enough more time on offense to run a little bit. P.J. Oh, ran for 250 really? yards last week. Oh, that's hard to believe. When they rest him a little bit, yeah. he does a little more, huh? Yeah. yeah. You're not like a kid from Valwood who had 48 carries in one game. I know. So uh, we'll see about that. We'll talk about that in a minute. They may get more against uh, the team he's playing tomorrow night. We'll see. <laughs> Cairo up in America, something. So should be, it should be a good game. But, you know, this could be a trap game for Cairo. I don't know. They got Monroe at home next week. Monroe beats Cairo. They'll win. That's for the region championship next week no. in Cairo. But Monroe's Monroe, an Albany team, as Roger would well, say. Well, Cairo's doing what they normally do every year. You know, they'll, you know, they play some bigger schools before region play starts. You know, uh, and everything. But they're doing what they do when they get into region play. They win. No question about it. Tell you what, guys. Let's take a real quick break. We got a, we got a quick addition here tonight because. Uh, Goodness gracious, you already sorry. Is that Coach Ingram calling for you? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Calling you, you Roger, in? don't talk to me when I'm out of camp. Yeah, he wants me to go do a little, he wants me to do a pep talk to the team. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I have, we'll see. I have before. So. Let's take a quick break so Roger can <laughs> oh, go no, talk to the pep talk to the fence. <laughs> and uh, we'll be back after this. Don't so this keep me now. This is a Friday Night Huddle sponsored by Thomasville Toyota. This is so easy. Shopping from home, from your office, from your phone at thomasvilletoyota.com. Shop for brand new Toyotas or look at hundreds of pre-owned vehicles. Get approved in seconds with one click. And during business hours, live chat with one of our internet specialists. So shop easy at the happy place, thomasvilletoyota.com. Thomasville Toyota, where you have home happy. Southwest Georgia Oil Company, located in Bainbridge, Georgia, operates under the trade name Inland. The goal of Inland is to be the largest independent oil company in the tri-state area of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Moving quickly toward that goal, Inland serves the local area in numerous ways through its distributors, Sammy's on the Faithful Highway, the Inland Store on West Chowell Street, and in Donaldsonville on Highway 84, the Self-Service Island on Calhoun Street. All you need is an Inland Fuel Card and the Inland Piggly Wiggly in Cairo. At Inland, we are proud to serve our local communities in Southwest Georgia. It's the game was awesome last night. We got crushed, dude. Awesome game. Nice. The Saints are getting good, huh? Shotgun formation. Yes! Zone Blitz, they disguise it so well. With NFL Mobile from Verizon, no one will know the game better than you. Best nice. defense in the league. Well, almost no one. I will eat you. Get coverage of every NFL game and NFL Network coverage 24-7 on NFL Mobile and experience football on Verizon 4G LTE. They attack one in 30 homes across the U.S. and can cause thousands of dollars in damage. Termites are monsters. Get the Terminex Ultimate Protection Guarantee. It covers all future termite treatments and damage repairs. Call or click today to protect your home. Terminex. Power over pests. Georgia Farm Bureau membership is a real value. 
We'll put you on the road to savings with our car rental discount programs. Save 5% on Enterprise, 15% on National and Alamo, and 20% on Hertz. Get backing and save. GFB members save 20% at Choice Hotels, which includes Comfort Inn, Comfort Suites, Quality, Sleep Inn, Clarion, Roadway Inn, and many more. As a member, you're eligible to save $500 on your next new qualified Ford purchase. Call your County Farm Bureau and start saving now. At any time, Fitness of Bainbridge, you're worth it. Anytime Fitness is the world's largest 24-hour co-ed fitness company. You can exercise any time of the day or night using your own security access key card. That's 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. One membership, thousands of clubs. At Anytime Fitness of Bainbridge, we're proud to offer the benefit of anywhere club access. With this benefit, you can visit thousands of clubs worldwide for the price of a standard monthly membership. In the Inland Port Shopping Center, 1408 Tallahassee Highway. Anytime Fitness. Welcome back, everybody, to the Friday Night Huddle. Bobby Latmore here along with Myron Guyton, Roger Cunningham, and Jesse Small joining us. Yeah, Jesse's already getting on you. He's already doing it. You guys put anything At least on you could have won with a bacon. We got to talk about him, guys. Pelham oh, versus Barry. Oh, it could be. It could be. Yeah, the, that, 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 it could be the battle. Is. Battle to see who's not going to be in a cellar in Region One Two A this week. Pelham, you know, Barry comes over to Pelham, so. You know, the only issue is Pelham's one and six, Barion's two and five. They're both zero and three in the region. So yeah, this could really hurt Pelham, though. If they this lose, could. Yeah, if they lose this game, it really could. Being that they were expected to do so well, and now you lose to, to Barion. I mean, you're kind of at the bottom now. You know, it really is. I just, you know, you just you don't have. And they got two of the worst games that they can actually face after this tonight. They got to win tonight. They got Early County away next week, and then they got to go to Thomasville the week after that. So you it's the, uh, they got to win this game tonight. You think the players could have been night. discouraged, thinking that they shouldn't have been in? Uh, 2A, a and we're pushed up anyway. And but that's the coach's the job, though. The coach got to, you know, talk to them and coach them through that. I mean, because it kind of is what it is. And say, hey, guys, you know, we can go ahead and show them that hey, we can play uh, in 2A. Yeah, but, you know, they lost they, games they in 1A this year at the beginning of the year. Yes, they did. That's true. So I think Bacon did start in her senior night, so we're going to get things rolling here. Thomasville is off tonight. They play Fitzgerald at home next week. Oh, then they got Pelham at home the week after that, so it's going to be interesting to see what Thomasville does. Hopefully they get it regrouped. If they beat Fitzgerald, by the luck of a win, Fitzgerald's number seven in the state in 2A right now, number two in, this, in the region, three and one. If they beat Fitzgerald next week, they may have a shot. They Actually, they will have a shot for the region uh, number four spot. So <laughs> it's going to be interesting because the early county still has to play Fitzgerald and Cook. Yeah. Oh. So... <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how that happens. If Thomasville beats Fitzgerald, they're in. So they got to beat them. If not, season's over. Yep. They got a week off to think about it. Seminole County, we'll talk about them real quick. Heading up to Randolph Clay tomorrow. We'll hand it over to our Seminole County guru. Roger, take it away. Yeah, it's a big, could be a big win for Seminole. I mean, they, <laughs> well, they're, they're hungry. And, and, and talking with Coach Ingram Monday, they're not looking past this I was game. Say they're not looking ahead to Miller. No, are they? They're not looking past this game. They know they got to take business, take care of business against Randolph Clay because in the following week they play Miller County for the family feud in Donaldsonville. Next week they yeah. play Mitchell, yeah. and uh, and then the following week, the final game of the season, they play Mitchell right here on this field. And uh, huge, huge uh, uh, factor, you know, as far as the region's concerned, because you know, to guarantee the playoff spot in Class A, you have to win the region. If you don't win the region, then it goes to the power rank. Right. Yeah, look at the you, power rank. You, you, could be number, you could be number two in the region and out. You're out. Of the playoffs. And that's what it's – I'll tell you one thing right now. The way it's working out right now, region one's going to get messed up. They're not going to have the opportunity to play because Mitchell County and Miller County – Miller County right now is leading. They're number – like, they're only, like, number 11. Yeah. And they're, re and they're number one in region 1A. Seminole County and Mitchell County are out right now in 18 and 20. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So but, even though the schedules are there. But, and the they, schedule but they haven't played going, each other yet. Right. But, soon, but now when they play well, the each other. The going to be there to knock gonna, each other out. Well, that that true. You know, that could be very you know, but, but the power rankings will take that into consideration that they played each other. Well, the thing is, too, is that, you know, you got, it's like the SEC is going to knock each other out of the national championship race because they play each other. Yeah, exactly. And the only one team from region one, even though as good the as SEC, they've been all SEC year, is going to be in. The sweet 16. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the same thing you guys were talking about in the 6A. I mean, that's the same problem I was saying when you got Camden County, Lowndes, and all those guys in the same region. I mean, you're talking about possibly the best teams in 6A all playing against each other in the region. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's tough. But I kind of yeah, because you could job. have a number four out of you could you could have a you could have a number four team that comes out of Region One 6A that'll go up there and beat a number one team right. from somewhere else, right. from another right. region, exactly. you right. know, in the playoffs. Right. But uh, but we'll be covering the Miller Seminole County game. Yes, we will. Next next oh, next Friday night. We'll be there yeah, at that Seminole game. Yep. Seminole has 
Randolph Clay. Tomorrow night. Miller. And then Miller and then Mitchell. And Mitchell. Yeah. Mitchell could have said better. I mean, Mitchell's a they good better not look past uh, Randolph Clay because uh, Miller and Mitchell, that's a nightmare on Elm Street. It is. So <laughs> we'll see. They better not look forward to it. Yeah, but we got that old the old riverboat gambler over there. <laughs> And he used to coach at Miller County as well. No. Seminoles tied with Miller County right now, 3-0. Yeah. Miller's 4-0, Seminoles 3-0 in the region. So we should be all right with that. So, Bobby, we need to take a break. The referee wants to ask us a question. Come on in. I think we did it. Yeah, yeah, it's on. It's on. Come on in here. You can hey. come on by. Hey, don't matter. On camera. You can yeah. come by. It doesn't matter. On camera. Who are you? Eugene. Okay, Eugene, how are you, Bobby oh, Lamar? Uh, hey, you doing all right? Yes, sir. Hey, hey, everybody. Myron Guyton? Okay. Hey. How you doing? Hey, Myron. How you doing? That's, that's a Boston Roger residence Cunningham. right Roger there. Roger Cunningham. Born and raised. This is Boston guy right here. This is Boston guy right here. Oh, he's got to say you, need to, you need to let us know when you do the coin toss because Je Je Jesse and I are honorary. They're honorary captains. We're honorary right. captains tonight, right. right. so you need to let us yeah. know when you're doing the oh, coin so toss. All right, I, yeah. I talked to John because I'm the umpire. I'll make sure. Okay. okay. Yeah. Come on. All right. Yeah. Oh, Jesse got a sauce. Look at Jesse. Everybody got a stop. See Jesse. Boston, baby. Hey. <laughs> hey, that blue brother. Wait, like blue. He looks like blue. <laughs> we got some big kids, man. Hold up. We're bringing the guys from big kids. So, hey, I'm going to bring it with me next time. It's fun, isn't it? It's always fun. Two guys from big kids. It's always fun. It's always fun. Hey, Miller County's got an easy one. They have, they have Stewart County. Yeah. We won't talk too much about that no, one. Mitchell County's at Calhoun. Some easy games for the final three, but the next two weeks. They it's all face yeah. each other, and it's, it's going to be huge. It is. So be very Region huge. 1A is going to be fun to watch here in the next couple weeks. Real quick, we got to get things rolling here. It's kind of an abbreviated Friday night huddle here on a Thursday night here at Centennial Field in Camilla, Georgia, where Baconton's taking on Seminole County's JV program for their final game. It's Baconton Senior Night. Jesse Small, the honorary captain for Baconton tonight, and Roger Cunningham, the Indian. Himself, the head chief, <laughs> is going to be. Why are you uh, so on me tonight, man? Ah, yeah, why are you so on me tonight? tonight? So it's going to be a lot of fun, and we'll see. We'll see how these two match up tonight. We're going to be on the sideline, interviewing both player, both uh, captains, to see how the teams are going as we do it tonight. That's so it's going to be fun. That's right. Fresh trade-ins everywhere right here at Thomasville Toyota, folks. Look at this Yukon. Absolutely gorgeous. Tan leather interior. Got the wheels. $9,900 at Thomasville Toyota. 07 Sienna minivan. Perfect color. Clean. Also $9,900. And here's a real SUV. Nissan X-Terra. Sale price $9,900. Make it $8,900. Tell them I said. Thomasville Toyota, where you drive home happy. 4G LTE has the fastest speeds. So let's talk about coverage. Based on this chart, who would you choose? Wow. <laughs> guys, take a minute. Horizon, hands down. I'm going to show you guys another chart. <laughs> pretty obvious. I don't think color matters. Pretty obvious. What's pretty obvious about it? The Verizon has the coverage. <laughs> Verizon. Verizon. We're going to go to another chart. It doesn't really matter how you present it. I tell you what, it doesn't matter how you present it. Verizon. More 4G LTE coverage than all other networks combined. I'm ready to switch over to Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. Great. Wait, my old insurance agent is offering me a safe driver discount if I stay. We got you down for that. And a multi-line discount. That too. You know, some insurance companies don't give you your discounts until you try to switch, whereas we give you all the discounts you qualify for automatically. Awesome. Done. Ah! Hey, hi. Your old agent? Yeah. Awkward. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. They attack one in 30 homes across the U.S. and can cause thousands of dollars in damage. Termites are monsters. Get the Terminex Ultimate Protection Guarantee. It covers all future termite treatments and damage repairs. Call or click today to protect your home. Terminex. Power over pests. Since 1953, Sharper Oil Company has been providing fuel to Southwest Georgia and North Florida. Sharper Oil is your complete full-service dealer for fuel, oil by the gallon or in bulk, grease, tanks, from 150 to 30,000 gallons, filters and related parts needs. Sharper Oil Company, 250 Wiggum Dairy Road in Bainbridge. Call today, 246-2183. Sharper Oil Fueling Stations are open 24-7, providing you with your fuel and lubricant needs with your Sharper Fleet Card. Sharper Oil Company, fueling your way to success. 
At Farm Credit, our roots run deep in this rich Georgia soil. We are the nation's leading provider of credit to farmers and farm businesses. And we know what it takes to grow your business. We've closed more loans on the hood of a pickup truck than some bankers will in a lifetime. We're proud of our history. Prouder still to finance the dreams of farmers, landowners, and agribusinesses. We're Farm Credit. We're here to help you grow. GISA real quick, Brookwood at Valwood. The Baby Warriors won last time they played. We'll see. They, they had, but they had to win to get into the playoffs. And they're in the playoffs. It doesn't matter what they do the next two weeks. If they lose to Sherwood, they'll be out. But they'll be, they'll be, hopefully they'll beat Sherwood. Who, Brookwood? Yeah. They, play upset. they play Valwood. Big upset if they beat Valwood. They play oh, yeah. Valwood tomorrow night, who is number one in the state in all of GISA. <laughs> They've, they're averaging 40 points a game, 400 yards a game, and they're going up against that Brookwood defense. Did that coach uh, change his game plan? Yeah. He did? Yeah, because Terrell, they couldn't do that. Terrell was worse players in Brookwood last week, so he changed it. He, had to he changed it. He changed it to hey, the fact they that won. he, he, only, he, he they ran. Won, hey, the he changed it. Instead of running that same play three times, he ran it five, five times. times. <laughs> hey, the, right at him. The talent that Brookwood has on that team, their record shouldn't be like it is. I agree. I agree. They should have been that guy basically asked for the, the job last week. I mean, I kind of <laughs> jumped in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> I said I would assist, but... Yeah, my, mean, my wife said you can't hire yourself, Bobby, on just on camera like that. Yeah. <laughs> For I mean, real good as you'd head coach. I'm a head coach. Y'all be, be yeah, everywhere I else. Everybody else jumped I, in. I, I'll hire you guys in a second. Hey, I'll take that's it That's what they want. They're going to yeah, win again. They're going to win again. They're going to win again. You come and say, we don't well, need we, guys. We, we commentated. Win. Chris and I commentated the SGA uh, uh, Brookwood game, and I, I think Chris and I, would. we were wanting to get down on the field to coach Brookwood so bad. In that game, we Man, just, we just wanted to down there. All you had to do was walking on the sideline. You could see the reflection of what was going on. Oh, I mean, it was ridiculous. My, but, they uh, should have they should have beat SGA by 30 points. Easy. They should have. Easy. You know, mm -hmm. no easy. doubt. I'll tell you what, they got a good team. It's going to be interesting to see how they stack up against Valwood. Brookwood's own Valwood for the past five, six years. Valwood, this is Valwood's new coach. They brought in Ashley Henderson. He's a former head coach, mm -hmm. not a head coach, but a former coach, assistant coach at Val Austin. And he brought in some good kids from that area to play at Valwood, and they're strong, very strong. But it's going to be interesting to see what they have. Hey, I've got a good game tomorrow night in the GISA. Tomorrow night, and this is where the cool channels is going to be tomorrow night, Westwood, we're going to be back in Damascus, is going to take on SGA. This is actually for the region championship. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a battle royale. It's going to be for the region championship because SGA is 3-0 in, in the region. region. Right. Okay, they've lost some games overall. They're 5-3. and three. Westwood, with the loss to Valwood last week, is 2-1 and one in the region. SGA and Valwood play each other next week. Well, so, then, so then that could be for the region championship. That, I, everything right know. now the SGA does right now is for the region championship. That's why I mentioned that. Mm -hmm. So it's a huge game tomorrow night for SGA against Westwood. Mm -hmm. Huge rivals. I mean, they're only, a, a, you know, 10, 15, 20 miles away from each other, from Damascus over to, you know, to Camilla. Mm -hmm. So it's it's... It's a big rivalry. These kids know each other, mm -hmm. and they go after it. In the years past, it's been ugly games. It's been fight drag outs. But Man, there's so many it's teams around here. Yep. Yeah, it is. Wow. It's South Georgia football is just the best. You can say what you want about the Atlanta area and everything like that, but it, it, this, this is the grassroots area down here when it comes to high school football. We were at Seminole County, what, four weeks ago, three, four weeks ago, and talked about the number of kids going to right. D1 schools from these small schools. Yes, exactly. A number well, of them Sem Seminole had five I mean, it's year. amazing. They win. It's amazing. You know, so, so they're here. Yeah, they're These here. players are here. So exactly. it's a lot. It's always fun, especially like this. It's always fun, especially tonight. Bacon and taking on Seminole County's JV program. Well, you've heard of guys like Charles Grant. He played for Miller County. Philip Daniels played for Seminole County. I could go on with other players that went on to play you know, in the NFL from these small schools. Is small your picture schools. up on the wall over there? It will County be after too? this game tonight. Yeah, I was say. <laughs> Either is a dartboard or smiling, one or the other. <laughs> hey, going to be, I guarantee he's going to be Division I. Uh, what is it? Jaquan, uh, Jaquan, Jaquan Williams. Williams. Hey, yes. Here he's at Mitchell gonna, County, absolutely. Yeah, he's going to be Division yeah, I. I talked to him, and I, I, told him, I asked him about his grades. He said, hey, his grades are working. His grades are fine. Oh, yeah, he's, he's doing what he needs he to do. He so, yes. Yeah, he, he, he division one. Yeah, you could have all the athletic ability in the world, but if you don't keep the grades up in high school, D one's not, not going to look at you. Exactly. Yeah. Look you know. here. That's what we're talking about right there. It's all about grades. Don't make the grades. You can't play. That's it. Exactly. Can't make play. Guys, let's take a quick break. When we come back, it's prediction time. 
here on the Friday Night Huddle on the Special Division here on Thursday for Roger and Jesse. Myron and I are just kicking back tonight. We're just going to enjoy watching this. He's here for the ride, baby. Yes, sir. So uh, let's you take join me. Let Bobby go with uh, Jesse. Jesse. You come with me. Uh, no, we not you, too you can't. Sit on you, can't. Sit you can't. You can't. You can't. We got to be able to laugh. You know, two are big. You two are big buddies, so you got to hang out with me tonight. We got to be in the press box up there or something. Roger, me and you aren't friends. We're friends. Yeah. Let's take a quick break here. Friday Night Huddle sponsored by Thomasville Toyota. We've been selling a lot of new Toyotas right here at Thomasville Toyota and getting great trade-ins like this Toyota Sienna minivan. Only $9,900. It's an 06 model, very clean. Volkswagen Passat, ladies and gentlemen, $6,900 right now. While it lasts, you better call. 50 miles per gallon Toyota Prius Hybrid. $9,900. Come on in now to Thomasville Toyota, where you drive home happy. My name is Dana Copeland. I am Director of Athletic Development here at Koji Athletic Company in Thomasville, Georgia. Next level training. The happy place. Thomasville Toyota. 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 Where you have home. It's a great place for sports training to keep in shape. Come to Fitness Life for your workout. It's convenient and it's open 24 hours a day. Follow your dreams, find your passion here at Fitness Life. Hi, I'm Samantha Myers at Tim Smith & Associates. Please call me at Tim Smith & Associates, 229-243-0990 for all your group benefits and personal insurance needs. Samantha is a great specialist in plan design, health insurance, group insurance, personal insurance, anything dealing with your health insurance needs. Give us a call today at Tim Smith & Associates in Bainbridge, Georgia. Tim Smith & Associates, 253 Wiggum Dairy Road, Bainbridge, Georgia, 243-0990. Check out Sunbelt Trophy on East Jackson Street for all your award ideas. We carry trophies for all sports, plaques, medals, resins, and beautiful crystals and acrylics. With on-site engraving, check out our showroom for your one-stop shopping celebration needs. Also, check out our new custom school award only at Sunbelt Trophy, 912 East Jackson Street, Thomasville, 229-228-1187. Welcome back, everybody, to the Friday Night Huddle here on the special edition, Thursday night edition in Camilla, Georgia, here at Centennial Field. Bobby Labmore along with Myron Guyton, Roger Cunningham, and Jesse Small are two captain, honorary captains tonight. Jesse for Bacon Strips. The Bacon man. Strips are playing, playing hard. <laughs> Roger, <laughs> Chief <laughs> Indian for bacon. Seminole County. That's it. You got a cotton pulling off of He's shedding. He's shedding. He's shedding. He's that bacon. Come on. He's shedding. He smells like bacon. <laughs> it's going to be a slippery slope. It's prediction time here on the Friday Night Huddle, guys. Cocoa County at Valdosta. Jesse, I'm going to start with you first. Uh, I'm going with the pack. Pack. Yeah, Packers all the way. I'm still with the pack. The pack. Good yeah. call. Good call. Thomas County Central at Hardaway. Thomas County Central, baby. Sting. Well, what? Sting, I'm sting, 50. sting again. Well, I'm 50. <laughs> I don't think Central have a problem with Hardaway. I don't think so either. Bainbridge at Northside Columbus. I think Bainbridge wraps up their playoff spot tomorrow night. You know, yeah. all they got to do is win they, one. All they got to do is win one, and they at least have fourth place. Team. And I think they, I think they take care of business. Good. Go cool with Bainbridge also. Jesse, you at Bainbridge? Yeah. Myron, where are you at? Bainbridge. Bainbridge. Good deal. Cairo at America Sumter. Cairo. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with the serve makers. Gosh, you three. This ain't fair. Rolling. You three, all rolling. three. You guys, all three of you are going with each other. Let's right? now. We got to have Chris. That's the problem. Chris is always the one getting in somebody's on bad side. 
Pelham at Berrien. Oh, here we go. Is, is it Berrien at Pelham? No, it's it, Berrien at Pelham. That's what I thought. I'm yeah, Berrien at Pelham. Pelham, Pelham. They need one, man. They can't, they can't drop that. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Berrien. Berrien. Oh, okay, I'm going to go with Berrien. Oh, I'm going to go with Berrien. Jesse's You know Jesse don't like Pelham, so he's going against him. No, I don't like Pelham, but I think I think Pelham wins one this That's just because I said Berrien. That's the only reason why. If we just started that. I think Pelham wins one this time. You didn't want to say it. We got to go, hey, fellas. Hey, Captain's hey, out on the field. I'm going to let you two go. Why don't you two go right now? Um, and we'll go back here. We'll get to Seminole County and Randolph Clay. Seminole. We know where Roger's at. Seminole. You need to mention the all-jam team. We got to go, guys. Oh, oh. You guys go. Enjoy yourselves. Have fun. Jesse Small and Roger are going to be going out there for the coin toss here in a minute. It's just me and you now, buddy. I know it. Man, finally huh? we can get some stuff done. I know. I know, because you kept Gosh. trying to talk, and they weren't listening. I know. It's, you know, but they're all pumped they're, up. They're, all, they're excited game. about you this know, and all yeah, that. Yeah. Jesse and uh, Roger out there for the uh, coin toss, as you can see behind us out there. Seminole County at Randolph Clay. Seminole County. You got to go. <laughs> and, you know, the next one's Miller County at Stewart. Miller County. Those Mitchell are County ones. at Calhoun County. Miller, I mean, Mitchell County. Brookwood at Valwood. I'm out, I know it's tough for you. It's I, tough. I'm going to have to go to Valwood. I know because, you are. You know, they, they, they've been tough this year. I know. They, there ain't no, man. You know, They're number if Brooklyn's one. playing at home, I might, go, I might go with Brooklyn. No, Brooklyn is home. That's oh, a home game. God. <laughs> <laughs> You're going with Valwood. I hear you. Yeah, I'm, going now, I'm, I'm picking Jesse and Ben <laughs> Roger on this. They're both picking Brookwood. <laughs> uh, here's a good one. SGA and Westwood. I'm going with Westwood. I mean, they had that hiccup last week. Right. You know, and I've been going with SGA all year. Yep. You know, but I'm gonna go with Westwood just because they lost against Valwood. Right. And you know, and I think that's the best team out there. Right. You know, and if you're gonna lose to someone, that's a team. You know. You, right. I, I still think Westwood is uh, is definitely the second best team out there. I'm going with picking Roger with Jesse's pick right now. I think that they're gonna pick Westwood as well. Here's the fun one right here, buddy. Baconton versus Seminole County's JV team. Now it's just me and Myron right now. Those two are out there. We know who they're gonna pick. I'm going with Bacon. I am going. I'm going with Bacon too. I really am. I'm going with Bacon. Roger, right? hey, Roger, Roger really hate he, that. Did, he, he was not hate. like that. Oh, at all. He won, no, no. Who won the toss? We're going to rise with the national anthem right here, so we're going to call it a night. Good job tonight, big guy. Right, I'm telling you, yes, sir. look at how much we, we, we went through we just went so through. quick. We didn't have to worry about the other two I, I jabbing know, at each other. Killing us. Bobby Labor, Myron Guyton, along with Roger Cunningham and Jesse Small. That's going to do it for us at the Friday Night Huddle. We'll see you next week. This is so easy. Shopping from home, from your office, from your phone at thomasvilletoyota.com. Shop for brand new Toyotas or look at hundreds of pre-owned vehicles. Get approved in seconds with one click. And during business hours, live chat with one of our internet specialists. So shop easy at the happy place, thomasvilletoyota.com. Thomasville Toyota, where you have home happy. At Farm Credit, our roots run deep in this rich Georgia soil. We are the nation's leading provider of credit to farmers and farm businesses. And we know what it takes to grow your business. We've closed more loans on the hood of a pickup truck than some bankers will in a lifetime. We're proud of our history. Prouder still to finance the dreams of farmers, landowners, and agribusinesses. We're Farm Credit. We're here to help you grow. For all of your heating and cooling needs, call Ronnie and Jeremy Mills at 443 U.S. Highway 84 East in Cairo, Georgia. 377-2716. Refrigeration, duct cleaning, residential, commercial, or industrial. When you're in need of service and repair and don't know what to do, it's time. American Standard Heating and Cooling Systems. A higher standard of comfort. Mills Heating and Air. Serving Cairo and the surrounding areas for over 30 years. And be sure to ask them about the flat cornbread. Southwest Georgia Oil Company, located in Bainbridge, Georgia, operates under the trade name Inland. The goal of Inland is to be the largest independent oil company in the tri-state area of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Moving quickly toward that goal, Inland serves the local area in numerous ways through its distributors, Sammy's on the Faithful Highway, the Inland Store on West Shotwell Street, and in Donaldsonville on Highway 84, the Self-Service Island on Calhoun Street. All you need is an Inland Fuel Card and the Inland Piggly Wiggly in Cairo. At Inland, we are proud to serve our local communities in Southwest Georgia. They attack one in 30 homes across the U.S. and can cause thousands of dollars in damage. Termites are monsters. Get the Terminex Ultimate Protection Guarantee 
It covers all future termite treatments and damage repairs. Call or click today to protect your home. Terminex. Power over pests. The game was awesome last night. We got crushed, dude. Awesome game. Nice. Saints are getting good, huh? Shotgun formation. Yes! Zone Blitz, they disguise it so well. With NFL Mobile from Verizon, no one will know the game better than you. Best defense in the league. Well, almost no one. I will beat you. Get coverage of every NFL game and NFL Network coverage 24-7 on NFL Mobile and experience football on Verizon 4G LTE. Possession had one called back with a home penalty, but JV playing a varsity team tonight. It's gonna be interesting. Hey, Worried, are you? Oh no, not at all. Inside the 10-yard line, he has to be the score four plays. Okay. He's dropping his knees on the cat. Yeah. He's got to burn on that. Watch it up there. Oh, young girl. Yeah, over here. Oh. They got a score first. That's right. Oh, you got to play me, guys. got this. after the first half? Uh, you know, it's a one-score game. You know, Seminole turned it over three times, Vegas at one time. That's, that's a big difference in the game right now. Yeah, Seminole has taken it away three times. But then you're right, that's a difference in the game. 
I gotta give you your props. I it's halftime, bro. Yeah, back in, back in the but it should be more time. But it should be one. It should be 28 to six right now. You know, this is true for uh, Bacon. But, right. but Young Seminole stepped up. I give you that. They did. Yeah, they did. I mean, for a JV squad, I think they're playing pretty good. Yeah. Are you guys having fun? I'm having. Oh a blast. yeah, that's nice. I'm having a blast. It's nice being on the other side of this man. Getting Ben Rogers. Be, <laughs> get, getting over, being able to <laughs> being able to being able to talk with the players and have some fun with the crowd. You know. It's, this high school football is a great atmosphere. It's it great. Is. Nothing better, is it? No, it's too bad we get honorary head coach. I know. I've been, trying. Man, I've, I've been trying. I've been trying. Oh, I've been trying too, man. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. All right, Bob. This is so easy. Shopping from home, from your office, from your phone at thomasvilletoyota.com. Shop for brand new Toyotas or look at hundreds of pre-owned vehicles. Get approved in seconds with one click. And during business hours, live chat with one of our internet specialists. So shop easy at the happy place, thomasvilletoyota.com. Thomasvilletoyota.com.